Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of Hobbit Stadium by Brits of Anamyces doing another beer in our isolation chair. <laughs> <laughs> isolation chair. <laughs> I guess we could call it that. Yeah. I mean, we've got two weeks to kill so far, yeah. and we've got a ton of beer to review. So basically, we have to sleep at Peter's place for the next 14 <laughs> days. Yeah. So Tobias and I, because we can't get out of here. Yeah. We, we, the virus is everywhere, we, and we, the only sustenance we have is beer. Yeah, we don't have any food at all. Because <laughs> we already ate the last bit today. Yeah. So. <laughs> Today we're checking out some Nerd Brewing Stouts. And um, Nerd Brewing, I think, makes some of the best stouts in Sweden, if not the best. Um, and I think they're highly underrated. Like, they're really good. And I love that they use either a combination of aroma and the real thing, or just the real thing in terms of ingredients, adjuncts. Uh, but we're trying two beers from them. And we got these on Beer Dome. So thanks to to Beer Dome for the beers. Check them out. And they just got a huge different array of Nerd Brewing beers as well, which we also got. This is from their, our last order. But this is the Nerd Brewing Infix. And we got the Caramel and Vanilla Macchiato variants. So it's Macchiato inspired Imperial Stout, so coffee Imperial Stout, on 10.5%. And the Vanilla, which is this one, is made with vanilla, lactose, coffee, vanilla aroma, oats, Yeast, sugar, yeah. And the same with this one, but, but it's caramel. caramel. Yeah. And no vanilla at all in this, right? Yeah. No. So, which one do you want to start with, Brett? I think okay. just left to right. Left oh. to right? No, uh, sorry, right to left. Okay, so we start with the vanilla variant. Yeah. So, pour is a very nice black color. It's interesting yeah. though, the head looks like, when you swirl it, it gets like that nice dark tan. Yeah. But it, when it sits in the glass, it gets a bit more like pale white. Or yeah. off-white egg, eggshell. But yeah. like swirled around but now, it's more it looks, or less the same. Yeah, swirled around this now, is it looks just a great. bit thicker the head on this one. You can also see how the stout like completely coats the sides of the glass, which yeah. is great. Yeah, yeah, looks nice. Let's check out the aroma. Ooh, big time vanilla! Oh, yeah. Loads of vanilla, marshmallowy vanilla. A really marshmallowy like. But that's the extract, and, like burnt caramel. Yeah, but that's the vanilla aroma. Vanilla aroma yeah. smells so much like marshmallow, burnt marshmallows. It's mm. crazy. If you've ever smelled just pure vanilla aroma. Yeah. Yeah, burnt caramel, vanilla, brown sugar. Brown sugar, yeah. Uh, the toffee vibes. The a coffee bit of, is actually a bit uh, hidden, I think. Yeah, a bit of molasses. Yeah. Dark roasted malt and yeah. molasses, like slightly umami, but just a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. Sticky. It smells mm -hmm. really like sticky and... Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. smelling it now, I get more of the real vanilla, like the actual vanilla pod or the vanilla bean. Yeah, so yeah that's so there I, too. And that's, and that's why I think doing both can work really well with like both the flavor and the uh, the the flavoring. Yeah. So it kind of like boosts everything. Yeah. Because it doesn't smell too fake. Because you also have like that kind of real vanilla vibe. But I think I there is some some coffee, some coffee but it's not huge. Oh, it's a bit, but let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, more sweet than I expected, and more coffee. Yeah, I much expected. more coffee, like tart coffee. Yeah, to me it's like a tart singing. Co it's I just had a cup of coffee. It's like a tart singing. Yeah, kind of coffee vibe to me, like berry coffee almost, but big time vanilla. I think this has more vanilla than the Index Out of Bounds vanilla we had a while back. Tobias and I had the first batch of Index Out of oh, Bounds okay. vanilla, and that one was really, like really old school, but but still quite a big hit of vanilla. Yeah. Um, this is definitely more new school, really caramel and Yeah, but it, but but it, it actually has, has more roast than yeah. I expected. It has a little bit of old school vibes in terms of the roast for mm. sure. But it's it to me it tastes a lot like what you expect of a nerd beer because nerds is yeah. not all new school. It has some of the, the heft and robustness yeah. of an old school. Uh, like American, mm. like classic imperial stout. It's much more, It's this is very much like American stout. Yeah. But wow, um, they have loads of vanilla. Like a, to me, like a hazelnutty, like dryness. It's interesting. To me, there's like an almond character to this. Yeah, yeah, I see that. But but that for me is more like the sweetness, whereas the, like the dryness is quite dry in the finish. Yeah. It reminds me of like you know if you eat like raw hazelnut, 
it has this kind of dryness on your palate. There's also a hint of dark fruit, like there's a hint yeah. of a raisin or date or something. But it's nice, but it's a lots of vanilla in it. I will say it's not the thickest, but like... No, it, they're quite velvety and silky, but... Yeah, but it's like, like a medium, medium plus. It's not... I it's expect not as it hefty maybe as... to be a bit more hefty, yeah. like the mouthfeel. Um, but still, it's nice. Yeah. Let's check out the aroma on the caramel version. Yeah, wow. really caramel. Wow. Butterscotch, like toffee Holy caramel. Holy fuck. That is so much butterscotch, yeah. <laughs> but that's because it's the aroma, caramel yeah, aroma, yeah. 100%. But it, again, Holy if you have these shit. coffee drinks, what you put in is also like the pumps of sugar with aroma. Yeah. Wow. That is just like, to me, it actually reminds me of like pure just uh, caramel fudge. Do you know what it reminds like me of? Like sticking your nose in like a bag the of... top of a creme brulee. Yeah, also, or like the top of the Dromike, but without of course the coconut. That, like without yeah. the co coconut, yeah. Yeah. Because because it's, because it's like that. Uh, it also caramelized has sugar thing yeah. with caramel. It also has vanilla for sure. But again, as with the other one on the aroma, the coffee gets drowned by all the other things. Yeah. Like, you remember Poyo, the the bar uh, brown ale? Yeah. That was perfect amounts of coffee mm. and everything. But here the. I think what kills the coffee a bit is the yeah flavoring. But I have a sense that the f the coffee will be the in yeah the I like taste. the other one too. Yeah. So. let's try it. Cheers. Oh yeah, really butterscotchy, really caramel mm. toffee. Like Werther's so originals. Much. Like fucking, it's like almost like you conditioned the beer on Werther's originals. Yeah. yeah. And coffee. There's this definitely coffee. Isn't as the roast, yes, this one. No, this is more like. It's but I think it's because soft and sweet. But I think it's also because there's a lot of caramel mold in the beer in general, and then you play on that with caramel flavoring too. So you but get isn't like a, it the same like, base beer? Because it's, I think so. It must be because both of them are, are bottled at the same time. I mean, I think it's the same beer, but it, that's also like putting in adjuncts just change or adjuncts, yeah, adjuncts and, and flavoring changes the beer so much. Mm. Like the it does because this is nowhere near as like dry and roasty as this one mm. in the finish. Yeah, this is much more like caramel, toffee, fudge. Where there's originals, as I said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like much more sticky thing. and pastry. Yeah. And definitely like, yeah, it's almost like you. It's I. I've never had like caramel coffees. I've always been like I don't black really coffee. like that. But yeah. I've always been. It works better in beer for me. For my kind of palate. Yeah, I've always liked black coffee the most. Just like pure black coffee, drip coffees, uh, arrow press, French press, things like that. Mm. Without any sweeteners. I, I prefer the flavor of the beans. Uh, but it does bring me reminiscent things of having the kind of fraps and of, uh, iced coffee kind of drinks. Which I actually kind of like. If, if coffee has to be cold, I prefer like these sweetened things. Instead mm. of just pure cold, cold brew or something like that. Um, so this reminds me of like beer versions of your Starbucks fraps or whatever they call yeah, macchiatos. Yeah. Probably, but I guess that's kind of called the macchiatos at Starbucks too. Like yeah, 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 of course. Like macchiato is, I think the gen general term of these kind of dessert coffees. Coffees, yeah, you can call them yeah. that. Yeah, and for that they imitated it quite well. Yeah, it's it's not my favorite kind of. It's not my favorite thing. from Nerd. No. Yeah, and, and it's just not my... I don't think macchiato, I, you know, just the drink in itself is my kind of no favorite drink, coffee drink. Yeah. I would much rather prefer like a espresso or just cortado or like a really good americano. Uh, but, um, but I think, again, I, it's not my favorites from Nerd. Because I think that's the most artificial ones mm. he's done so far because of the flavors. But again, it's boosted by the real thing. It's not like all artificial. It's not like no, no. so fake. No, and no, it's not, no, no. And the base beer doesn't it get isn't. lost either, which is really nice. But 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 uh, I would just like a bit more, like a bit more base I would, heft and a bit more yeah, mouthfeel. I would like a little less adjunct. Yeah. In terms and, of and, the flavor. And a bit more base. And more base beer. Yeah, yeah. Just it's because the harmony is a bit out of play in mm. these for me. I but think I think so. they're still. They're, I, I'll give both a ninety. I think they're quite nice. But yeah. I'm not gonna go higher because it's. It, the more I drink them, I feel like they need a bit more of what I associate with the rest of like the nerd beers we've had. Which like Fluffernutter was perfect. 
Yeah, in I didn't terms have of that the one, balance but... between that kind of stuff. Uh, but we have a boatload of nerd to try. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm definitely most... sure we'll have something that we really like. Yeah, uh, I, I just have a bit too artificial for in, in, Yeah, but still yeah, very and just I, I just need a bit more body. I, 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 to be honest, I don't care that much about the like the aroma thing. I just need a bit more base beer to kind of play with it. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah, like straight 90 maybe, I think this is 89 and, and a straight 90. Actually interesting, because I prefer this the caramel version a bit more. Yeah, than I think this one is more drinkable, but I like that this one has more of a sta stout uh, base, with like a roast stout roll. like finish to it. Hmm. Yeah, well, we've got the breaks, we've got the branch, we've got the new 5th anniversary continue. Oh yeah. Uh, is that it? I think so. Yeah, kind of. Oh yeah, and the new yeah, Eclipse Out of Bounds. Yeah. So we actually have a lot of nerd brand to try it. Mm. And they, they just came out with even more new stuff. So, of uh, course. But yeah, all, and it's always stouts. It's all stouts. Ales. All stouts. Like, it's <laughs> awesome. But still, still definitely try nerd brewing. Again, not my all-time favorites from him, uh, but they're very nice for sure. Still, I mean, 90 is still a very nice grade. But still, don't sleep on nerd brewing. Like, Hannes does some very nice imperial stouts. So. Yeah. If you guys had a chance to try these two, let us know what you thought of them. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we're gonna say cheers. Cheers. And see. Oh, let's try it and blend it. <laughs> Not a big difference, really. It's. It gets just this one vanilla. mellows it out of it, but it's yeah. just it's just yeah more vanilla. But they're, they're nice. So if you haven't let us know, it's always <laughs> in the comments. Subscribe to the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Cheers and see you guys in another beer review.